السلام علیکم نمشکار ست سری اکال میں یمشی عارف ریسرچ اسکالر ڈپارٹمنٹ آف باٹنی علی گڑھ مسلم یونیورسٹی سے ہوں میں آپ کا سواگت کرتی ہوں ایم یو ٹی وی کے خاص پروگرام اکیڈمک نیوز میں جیسے کہ آپ کو پتا ہے ڈپارٹمنٹ آف باٹنی علی گڑھ مسلم یونیورسٹی کا ایک بہت ویل نون ڈپارٹمنٹ ہے اور یہاں کے ریسرچ اسکالرس اینڈ سائنٹسٹ آل اوور ورلڈ فیمس ہیں میں آپ کو یہ بتانا چاہوں گی کہ ایم ایس سی ان باٹنی میں انٹرنس کوالیفائی کرنے کے لیے آپ کو کیا کیا کرنا پڑے گا تو پہلے میں آپ کو بتانا چاہوں گی کہ ایم ایس سی ان باٹنی ٹو ایئر پروگرام ہے اور اس میں فور سیمسٹرس ہوتے ہیں اس میں تھرٹی فائیو سیٹس اپروکس تھرٹی فائیو سیٹس ہیں اور اس کا ایلیجبلٹی کرائٹیریا یہ ہے کہ آپ کو بی ایس سی باٹنی ہونا چاہیے وتھ ففٹی فائیو پرسینٹ مارکس ایگریگیٹ پھر جو اس کا انٹرنس پیپر آتا ہے وہ ون فورٹی مارکس کا آتا ہے جس میں کہ سیونٹی ملٹیپل چوائس کوشچنس ہوتے ہیں اینڈ ٹین شارٹ آنسر کوشچنس ہوتے ہیں تو میں نے آپ کو یہ ایلیجبلٹی کرائٹیریا بتایا اب میں آپ کو یہ بتانا چاہوں گی کہ ہماری جو سیمینار لائبریری ہے وہ ویل مینٹین لائبریری ہے اور ویل ڈیولپڈ ہے آپ کو یہاں پہ پریویس ایئر کے کوشچن پیپرس مل سکتے ہیں جس سے کہ آپ اور اچھے سے تیاری کر سکتے ہیں اور مارکیٹ میں بہت ساری بکس اویلیبل ہیں جس میں ایم سی کیوز اینڈ شارٹ آنسر کوشچنس ہیں جس سے کہ آپ آگے تیاری کر سکتے ہیں تو میں نے آپ کو یہ سب بتایا کہ ایم ایس سی کے انٹرنس کی آپ کیسے تیاری کریں کیا ایلیجبلٹی کرائٹیریا ہے اور آپ کو لٹرلی فیوچر میں بہت بینیفٹ ہوگا اب میں آپ کے لیے چلتی ہوں ڈپارٹمنٹ آف باٹنی کے چیئر پرسن جہاں ہم جانیں گے مور انفارمیشن اباؤٹ آر ڈپارٹمنٹس ایوری ون اینڈ ویری گڈ آفٹر نون ٹو آل آف یو آئی وڈ لائک ٹو انٹروڈیوس مائی سیلف آئی ایم پروفیسر غزالہ پروین اینڈ پرزنٹلی آئی ایم دا چیئر پرسن of the Department of Botany. I would like to tell you about something or uh, hist- history, history of this department. The department was established in the year 1923 and then the postgraduate teaching was started as early as 1930 and the research was started in the year 1935. The different programs which are offered in my department are BSc Honours, MSc and PhD and uh, the department also supports postdoctoral research. The different specialization field which are the core of this department are like plant pathology, advanced plant physiology, cytogenetics and plant breeding, plant biotechnology and environmental botany. We are having our exper- uh, teaching faculty having expertise in all these fields and they carry out a good amount of research work also in these branches. And they were the pioneer scientists in this department like Professor Obad Siddiqui, Professor Abrar Mustafa Khan, he is also called as the father of Indian nematology, Professor Kafil Chaudhary, he was wood anatomist and uh, Professor Afridi, he established plant physiology lab in this department and Professor A.K.M. Ghaus, Sayyid Israr Hussain, Professor Wajid Khan, Professor Mashkur Alam and Professor Muhammad Iqbal and so many others are also in the list. Now the student they do their B.Sc. honors and after B.Sc. they opt for M.Sc. if they want to go for higher education and uh, after MSc they proceed to PhD program and uh, after doing PhD many of the scholars they also go to abroad or foreign countries and they are well placed all over the world in their respective fields some are working on the uh, on some type of scholarships and while some are having holding very prominent positions there and beside that the student who do MSc and PhD in botany, the field is quite applied in nature. I would like to say in different industries or if like a pharmaceutical industry startup, they, they may start their own, own entrepreneurship skills like uh, they can go for horticulture, they can go for agriculture, they can go for uh, nowadays a startup in hydroponics that is catching the attention of every scientist. We are having a well-developed infrastructure for the teaching as well as uh, 
the research scholars or other students here in the department itself we are having classrooms which are well connected with ICT facility we are having very rich seminar library in the department and that is having around 5458 books bound periodicals 6084 journals 33 and uh, the seminar library is also having the photostat facility as well as the computer facility all these things make the students life very easy and compatible with the courses which are going on in the department and beside that we are having a very specific sort of establishment in the field of tissue culture and biotechnology and here the theme is that even if you bring a segment or piece of a plant that can be converted through the technique of tissue culture and micro propagation to a complete full-fledged plant and moreover the single plant it can be cloned to a several number of around thousand numbers of plants or plantlets and these plants will later they can be taken to the field and from field they can be given to the either to the farmer or for the general use by the humans पीछे आप देख रहे हैं ये डिफरेंट टाइप के ग्लास हाउसेस हैं इसमें हम उन प्लांट्स को ग्रो करते हैं जिनको अगर मौसम ठीक नहीं है और हमको कंट्रोल कंडीशन में ग्रो करना है उनमें ह्यूमिडिटी और टेम्परेचर को कंट्रोल रखना है तो हम आर्टिफिशियली इसमें टेम्परेचर और ह्यूमिडिटी को मेंटेन करते हैं कूलर वगैरह लगा के और एयर कंडीशन वगैरह लगा के तो वो प्लांट हम आउट ऑफ सीजन भी ग्रो कर सकते हैं ये कई ग्लास हाउसेज आप यहाँ देख रहे हैं अंदर जो है वो इनके प्लांट्स रखने की जगह बनी हुई है ये जो और नेट हाउस है ये प्लांट्स को जो एक्सपेरिमेंटल प्लांट्स हैं उनको रोडेंट से गिलहरी और चूहे वगैरह ना खा सके उनसे बचाने के लिए है यहाँ पर हर लड़के का अलग प्लांट है जितने जो रिसर्च स्कॉलर हैं वो अपने अलग अलग प्लांट्स पे अलग अलग क्रॉप पे रिसर्च करते हैं तो नंबर ऑफ प्लांट्स तो एक्यूरेट नहीं बताए जा सकते क्योंकि जितने स्टूडेंट्स होते हैं वो अपने अपने हिसाब से सिलेक्ट कर लेते हैं जब वो जैसे कि बहुत ज़्यादा गर्मी है अगर हम खुले एटमोसफियर में प्लांट्स को रख देंगे तो वो मुरझा जाएगा तो गर्मी की कंडीशन में हम ग्लास हाउस के अंदर प्लांट्स रखते हैं और इसमें कूलर की और एयर कंडीशन के की मदद से हम टेम्परेचर लो रखते हैं और ह्यूमिडिटी जितनी चाहिए उसको उतनी प्रोवाइड कर सकते हैं क्योंकि बहुत गर्मी में ह्यूमिडिटी भी बहुत कम हो जाती है और टेम्परेचर बहुत ज़्यादा होता है तो ओपन कंडीशन में प्लांट ग्रो नहीं कर पाते हैं ये नेट हाउसेज है और ये जो बड़े वाले नेट हाउस आप देख रहे हैं ये हम बता चुके हैं जैसा कि रोडेंट से बचाने के लिए हैं जो हम महीन नेट यूज़ कर रहे हैं ये इंसेक्ट डिफरेंट टाइप के जो बीमारियां फैलाते हैं तो वो इन्फेक्टेड ना कर सके हमारे प्लांट्स को और इसके अलावा क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन रोकने के लिए भी हम इसका इस्तेमाल करते हैं ताकि इनमें सिर्फ सेल्फ पॉलिनेशन हो पॉलन ग्रेन दूसरे प्लांट से उड़ करके इन प्लांट्स पर ना जा सके कंट्रोल कंडीशन में हम पॉलिनेशन कराना चाहते हैं so that is how the tissue culture lab that is uh, serving to the human society as well you just have to get some sort of training in the field and then you will be adept to learn the technique of this tissue culture and biotechnology and this is uh, that is why a number of students from other institute beside outside the amu they also come to this department to get a training as a, a part of their MSc degree or as a part of their PhD degree program. They get trained here, well trained so that they can continue later um, as a future scientist and specialized in tissue culture and biotechnology. A central facility for very sophisticated sort of instruments as well in the department which are not available or present in any of the other department in the university. The department is, has uh, in, uh, inducted these instruments in the department and these are being well maintained by the department also. And just to mention a few ones, I would like to name here like atomic absorption spectrophotometer is available here. 
ultra centrifuge, ELISA reader, autoclave room, then double beam UV, with spectrophotometer, infrared, gas analyzer, and then we are having a specialized molecular lab because uh, nowadays studies in botany they are just confining or just heading towards the molecular level of any plant science so we are having some uh, instruments which are very specific to this particular lab like uh, gcms is there and real-time pcr machine is also there deep freezer which maintains temperature around min minus 20 degrees centigrade to minus 80 degrees centigrade pcr machine we are also having isoelectric focusing cell we are having and beside that we are having also the facility of inverted fluorescent microscope. So that was uh, a brief account of the instrumentation facility and that facilitates the study or it makes convenient the study of the students who come here to attain degree in BSc, MSc and PhD. Or iske alawa, our department ka museum that is worth seeing aapko aana chahiye yahan ke students jo hai isse fayda uthate hain museum jate hain wo aur hamare museum mein bahut hi bada collection hai for example specimens hain yahan pe different plants ke different plant groups right from bacteria fungi algae angiosperms everything we maintain all kind of diverse form of plants here in the museum and the number of specimens which are already here and they are preserved in jars. sweet potato and the size is very big. 7 kilo is one kilo. And this is a bulan shahar form of the Sufa Saab. This is the latest 2014. लेकिन इसके अलावा ये जो आप बगल में देख रहे हैं इसके ये 5 किलो का मैंगो है और ये प्रोफेसर अबार मुस्तफा साहब के ही बाप का है और 1984 में इसको प्रिजर्व किया गया था जब से अभी तक ये वैसे ही रखा हुआ है They are 160. Then we are having some charts of uh, having the drawing of different plants, and uh, the number accounts for 174. Iske alawa, yahan pe models hain different plants ke 135 and fossils and 64. Iske alawa, museum mein we are having a very good collection of different type of woods. Wood mein bache ko kya karna hai ki usko identify karna na chahiye. If you are going after this PhD program, you are going to the uh, outside market, then you must be able to identify the different of woods at least. So, uske liye we provide some sort of very basic education or her type ka wood sample. Aapko milega yaha ke museum mein. So that a student can very easily, first he will study during the BSc and MSc and after that, if that is supported by some specimens of these very rare woods or you can say the different types of woods, then he can get expertise in that expertise that he can different types of woods identify kar lena easily if he wants to start uh, to do something commercially or professionally. So after MSc in Botany pass out, there are a lot of opportunities for job opportunities. As you know, there are a lot of environment contamination, pollution, global warming, oxygen level is less, so our government also contributes to a lot of oxygen level. So our government also contributes to a lot of oxygen level, so our government also contributes to a lot of oxygen level. 
सस्टेनेबल एग्रीकल्चर करें किसानों को कम रेट तक फसल पहुँच मतलब सीड्स पहुँचाएँ तो यही हमारे डिपार्टमेंट का भी है कि वो लोग बहुत कंट्रीब्यूट कर रहे हैं जिससे कि ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा लोगों तक चीप रेट्स में सीड्स पहुँचे और ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा हम ग्लोबल वार्मिंग और पोल्यूशन को कंट्रोल कर सके रहे हैं आप लोग एनवायरनमेंट के जो डिफरेंट इंस्टीट्यूट्स हैं ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड आप लोग अप्लाई कर सकते हैं उन सब में और सबसे अच्छा ये है कि आप लोग आई का एग्ज़ाम भी दे सकते हैं एंड बहुत से लोगों ने क्वालिफाई किया है वो एग्ज़ाम अगर आपको रिसर्च करनी है तो आप पी कर सकते हैं साथियों ये था एम का एम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बॉटनी अगर आपको ये वीडियो अच्छा लगा है तो प्लीज़ लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब फ्यूचर नोटिफिकेशन के लिए बेल आइकन को प्रेस करें तो मिलते हैं आपसे एक नई वीडियो में थैंक यू